I must say last night was crazy. Last night had me running and jumping up and down because of a lot of amazing performances I saw of these athletes, I'm telling you. But I want to talk about one particular person in this video because this person has definitely caught my interest and definitely has inspired me and gave me hope for women's sprinting in Jamaica. And that particular person is Tia Clayton. Ooh, Tia Clayton was amazing last night. For those who don't know, Tia Clayton, Clayton ran a blistering time in the 200 meters. In the 100 meters, sorry. In the 100 meters semifinal, she ran a massive personal best. She ran 10.8. Six. When she saw the clock, she was amazed. She literally was jumping up and down and her sister grabbed her and started to celebrate as well because she has never gone sub level before in her track and field career. So to do that and defeat Cherica in the process was definitely amazing. Definitely. What Tina Clayton did in that 100 meter semifinal made her the fastest jamaican female this year wow that is crazy and it also was definitely something that hey there's hope for the youngsters in jamaica because in recent times we're not seeing the younger athletes stepping up so to see tia clayton do something like this wow and subsequently she went into the final and delivered once again she ran 10.90 this time just 400 of a second slower than the personal best she made in the semi-final and she came second behind of Sherika of course Sherika Jackson won in a time of 10.84 and that was brilliant from Sherika Jackson definitely and third place was Mommy Rocket and definitely what Shellyan achieved in that race was amazing because she has no gone or uh, will be able to go to her fifth olympics and to be 37 and to do that wow unprecedented and amazing i'm, I'm telling you i'm telling you but it's all about T tia clayton clayton in this video guys yeah but before i continue just remember like the video share and also subscribe to help to build the material community now let's talk about her confidence going into the trials and also after qualifying now let's talk about what or how she feels now going to paris to her first olympics well when it comes down to confidence i think that she is highly confident at this moment based on her performances and definitely what steve francis is doing at the mvp in a recent interview with sports max steve francis said that he he believes that he has the best couple of sprinters that he has ever managed in his coaching career yes viewers and subscribers he actually said that because we all know that he once had shelly Ann in his camp he once had once had elaine in his camp sharona simpson so to say that such a bold statement is definitely is eye popping and is definitely raising eyebrows at this moment but I knew exactly what he was doing. He was trying to build the confidence of these athletes, right? He's working on the mental aspect of these athletes because to make a bold statement like that, oh my God, any young athlete that he's managing now would definitely feel confident and inspired and motivated to, to, to do their utmost best for him, right? Because we know we've seen a lot of great athletes in his camp so to say that i think he's trying to build the mental aspect of he of these athletes because i think he realized that he failed prior to these athletes failed and i believe that some of the athletes that he had failed where that is concerned a lot a lot of athletes 
a lot of athletes that he has managed fail in that regard because he managed a lot of talented athletes, very technical and gifted athletes, but they couldn't reach their full potential because of the mental aspect in track and field. They were struggling in that regard. So I think he said that to build the confidence of the athletes, and I, and I think that's the reason why Tia Clayton did so well last night. I think prior to all that interview with Silver Francis, Tia Clayton came out and also said that she's ready, she's empowered, and she's not going to watch what everyone is going to say. Because from the get-go, her twin, um, Tia Clayton, is the one that people always talk about, that are always on people's lips when it comes down to check and feel because Tia Clayton, Tina Clayton always outshines her twin. So this is definitely something that Tia Clayton saw and was motivated to try to do her utmost best in order to make the team and to show the world that, hey, my twin is great and I'm also great. So I'm going to show you today, and she definitely did so. I'm truly happy and proud of her for demonstrating such great sprinting in the women's 100 meters yesterday. Definitely. But now let's talk about how she will perform against the top athletes like Shakira Richardson and T.T. Terry and also Melissa Jefferson, um, the, the three athletes that are qualified in the 100 meters for america well as i said before tia clayton is confident now so i'm expecting her to match up with these athletes i know shakiri and titi terry they have a vast amount of experience where track and field is concerned definitely so but i think confidence is speak i think confidence speaks volume because you don't have to have the experience in order to triumph. There's a first for everything. It could be your first Olympics or first world championship and you you can go out there and deliver it. And we saw that last season with Shakira Richardson. She never had the confidence to perform at a global stage for America. And she went last year and did so. Got a gold medal in the 100 meters, a bronze medal in the 200 meters, and also a gold medal in the relay, 4x1 relay. So... Definitely, I think confidence is much more greater than experience. Just have the confidence to show the world that, hey, even though this is my first time, I am pretty confident in my abilities. My training um, has been going good. So I'm going to definitely show the world that, hey, I'm a force to reckon with. Definitely so. But what Tia Clayton did last night, whoa, she shot the world and... <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just looking forward for great things from, from this girl because definitely, really and truly, we're going to, we really need her because Sheldon is going to retire at the end of this season and Elaine is at the twilight of her career, been battling with injuries since like 2016 and Sherika Jackson also so put down her spike so definitely we're looking forward for these younger generation but as usual, let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, like the video, share to get my content out there, and lastly, subscribe to the Real Community.